All right, so I'm in this beautiful location in, uh, on Gabriola, but looking over to Duke Point. But it is framed by this beautiful old oak tree. Isn't it beautiful? It's an oak tree. All right, I wanted to read a story for the kids out there, the little ones. Yes, I sure do like the little ones. And this is a book that I was, I got read to me when I was little. And it's called The Pokey Little Puppy. This is the Pokey Little Puppy. Look at him. He's so cute. Daisies and butterflies. So I like him. He has four brothers and sisters who like to dig holes. What dogs don't. The pokey little puppy likes to dig too. Such naughty puppies. Look at them digging. Dogs shouldn't dig in your yard, but they can dig elsewhere at the park. On crisp mornings, they love to run through the meadow and down the road. Look at them running. Larry, here goes my doggy wondering what I'm doing. Don't bump my camera, Larry. <laughs> Almost. They run over the bridge and up the hill, one after the other. One, two, three, four little puppies. But where is the pokey little puppy? Can't even see the pokey little puppy. He's not in the picture. He never reaches the top. Such a pokey puppy. Look at him. He's playing with the butterfly. He's got funner things to do than run. He likes to visit his animal friends in the meadow. Sheep and bunnies and horses. Hmm. And he stops to sniff at curious things in the grass. Spiders and caterpillars, hot toads and little green grass snakes. Those are also very interesting to look at. Look at all the little bugs and toads and stuff. They're so much fun. Little creatures, great and small. We love them all. Sometimes he finds a ripe red strawberry or an old bone he buried. That's fun. Look at him. So cute. If he's lucky, he might find someone who likes to play ball. Larry likes to play ball. The pokey little puppy squeezes through the hole under the fence. He is happy to be home again. His brothers and sisters are already tucked in bed. Because he's the pokey little puppy. He's always so slow. <laughs> but he still gets to sleep with his brothers and sisters. He is happy to see his very own house and his very own mother waiting for him. Everybody loves their mother. He is happy to have a bowl full of his favorite dessert. Rice pudding or chocolate custard or strawberry shortcake. Oh, what a lucky pokey little puppy. <laughs> and he is happy to fall asleep at last under the very special quilt his mother made for him. Pleasant dreams, pokey little puppy. Look at him. Pokey little puppy. Well, Larry and I are going to continue our walk through the forest and back up the street. And maybe look down a little bit more on the harbor or the inlet or whatever they call it here. Passage, perhaps. So, I hope you enjoy The Pokey Little Puppy. It's a great book. I've always enjoyed it. It's been in my life for a very long time. And yes, um, sweet dreams to all you Pokey Little Puppies out there. <laughs>